Hi, my name is Berkeley Robinson, and I'm going to inform you about Scooby-Doo. Okay, let's get on. Did you ever wake up early on a Saturday morning to watch cartoons? I remember as a kid wanting to wake up early and hoping that Scooby-Doo was on. Scooby-Doo is a big cartoon character. And if you've never watched Scooby-Doo, it is about a group of teenagers and a dog that went on mystery journeys to to catch bad guys in masks. The teenagers are two girls, Daphne and Vemma, and two boys, Fred and Shaggy. Scooby-Doo is Shaggy's scaredy cat dog. Scooby-Doo cartoon first aired in 1969 as a as Scooby-Doo Where Are You. Scooby-Doo has grown since then. There are more TV shows, movies, and video games. On top of this, Kings Island had a ride. And there are children toys. There are a ton of other Scooby-Doo related items such as Scooby snacks and Scooby belts and so on. And 1969, when the first Scooby-Doo, Scooby-Doo, Where Are You, aired, it was pretty good. The mysteries were good, but the graphics were not so good. There were some visual mistakes. For example, in one of the episodes, Shaggy had the wrong hair color for about 25 seconds. This both confused and surprised the audience watching the show. The next presence of Scooby-Doo was in 1978 and the movie Scooby-Doo meets the Boo Brothers, which was okay. The thing that made it good was that it actually had monsters in the movie. However, it only had two to three characters at a time, which made it less fun because it wasn't the whole game. From 1989 to 2002, it is when the movie and TV show got better. My favorite is in 2001, Cyber Chase, which they made based off a video game. The movie was a video game that they were trapped in and they had to get out. And then later that same year, they made a video game off that, which I had and I loved it. And Cyber Chase also connected the old Scooby gang and the new Scooby as like they get to meet each other and like talk. It was a really good mystery. And yeah. I like Zombie Island that came out in that time frame. Because although it just a movie, the mystery was really good. The first Scooby Doo live action came out in 2002. It was okay because it did not have real monsters. In the year 2010, they made a series called Mystery Incorporated, which was okay. I liked some of the mysteries and how some of the episodes connected smoothly with other episodes. I like how Velma and Shaggy had a love interest at one time. But I don't like how Fred was dedicated to his traps instead of Daphne. In 2014, they made a sequel called Scooby-Doo 2. This movie had real monsters in it, which made the movie more exciting. The movies were not random monsters. The monsters were from the previous cartoon series. Instead of being in a tropical island like they were in the first movie, they were in the city. This made it more relatable because most people live in the city, not in an island. After the movie, there was a series in 2015 that's called Be Cool Scooby-Doo, which I highly do not recommend. They made Daphne look uneducated based on her attractive appearance. This v version of Daphne did not resemble 
the other Daphnes that we have seen previously in Scooby-Doo. This was only some of the Scooby-Doo's movies and shows that I am talking about. Knowing this, I hope you guys get a better of understanding of how Scooby-Doo is and what kind of impact he has on children today and the growth he's had as a character. Okay, thank you. Bye.